Question two. Uh, we need to open the two entries word processing document. 2.1. Change the page size to A5 and set the left margin to 3 centimeters. So we go to size, change it to A5 and margins custom and change the left to 3. 2.2. Insert the two background picture found in your examination folder as a watermark with a scale of 150. So design, watermark, custom, picture, work offline, and just go choose that picture. And then we need to change the scale to 150 apply okay don't remove the washout if they didn't tell you to remove it so just please remember that 2.3 ensure that the form field for surname appears in the same position as the name field okay so that's quite easy if we just have a look at what the name field looks like at the moment you'll see there's a tab stop that's been applied to six so I can either just press a tab and then apply the tab to stop to six that's the one way the other way would be to format paint it and to do that you select the correct one use your format painter and paint it over surname you then still need to apply the actual tab stop for it to move to the tab stop position. 2.4. Format the date of birth field to display a date in the format DD, 4Ms and 4Ys. Okay, so the DOB field. Firstly, we need to change it to be a date type and then we can change the date format and there you can find the one that they've given us in the paper. That doesn't mean you actually have to insert a date. 2.5. Add hockey as a first option to the drop down form field next to the text event. You'll notice I just double click on the fields to open up the options. You could also just right click and go to properties. So I need to add hockey and then I need to move it all the way to the top. There you go, that's the top. 2.6. Change the type of the total amount field to a calculation so that the fee field is multiplied with a number field and will be calculated every time the form is closed. Use the bookmark names for the fee and number fields in the calculation. All right, so this is surprisingly simple, but I think because nobody's seen it in, exam, in an exam before, everyone was quite stumped by that question. But basically all you do is you change it to a calculation type and you'll see it adds a, an equals mark for you. And then you can just type fee times number. And it said that it should be calculated every time. So that's calculate on exit. Okay. Question 2.7. Reject all the changes that were made in the callout shape. So if I go to the review tab, I can just click on next and then it jumps to the um, change and I can reject that. And there it jumps to the next change, which I also need to reject. Once I get this message, there aren't any comments or track changes in your document. Then you know that you've actually um, rejected all of the changes. Just be careful in the original um, Gauteng paper, the question order was different and you first had to put the comment in before rejecting changes. And if you had then chosen to reject all the changes, like just gone to reject all, then it would have actually removed your um, comment on coach. 2.8. Add a comment to the word coach with the text signature of coach. So I select the word, new comment, There you go. 2.9. Insert the two standing file found in your examination folder as a link at the top of the last page. 
ensure that the link displays as an icon. Right, so we go click there at the top of the last page. Please read the instruction and don't go put it on the wrong page. Um, this one does on the insert tab object and you choose create from file and go choose the two standing file and link it and display it as an icon. 2.11 insert a field to display the file path in the header of the document format the field to appear in uppercase so it's not just you changing it to uppercase you actually need to change the field formatting so i've just gone into the header and i can go to document info file path and then i right click and choose edit field and change it to uppercase close header and footer now, just for interest sake, the way um, your teacher would mark that is by pressing Alt and F9, and then they can actually check that you did it correctly. So don't try to fool them and just do it afterwards. You're wasting your time. All right, that's question two.